Good morning. Tesla, Apple, and NVIDIA are trillion dollar companies with strong pricing power almost everywhere until lately. All three of these companies now are getting killed in China, and they need to offer deep discounts to be competitive in the Chinese market. Tesla slashed starting prices of four models in mainland China. This was last month, April. Apple slashes iPhone prices in China. Fierce Huawei competition there. That's this month. That's May. NVIDIA is the latest company to report big problems here, and their troubles are also coming from Huawei. Huawei is building semiconductor chips that make Huawei's smartphones better and faster than Apple's iPhone. And Huawei is now making AI chips that are beating NVIDIA's. Last October, Reuters did an analysis and asked if the semiconductor bans on NVIDIA might give Huawei a chance to fill the void here and possibly even catch up to NVIDIA. Their conclusion was that Huawei might eventually do so, but that this would take a long time. The latest AI projects globally are built with NVIDIA's proprietary architecture, and they say that Huawei's version at the time was more limited and so not ready, far from ready, they said here, to be a substitute for NVIDIA in the market. Waz Ahmed and some other experts went through the data and they concluded that Huawei might catch up to NVIDIA in about five or 10 years because of all the obstacles that need to be overcome. Earlier, NVIDIA launched three new AI chips for the Chinese market, and they hoped that their H20 chip would continue to help NVIDIA in China, where the company had 17% of its revenues over the past year. Here's Reuters again from November, they explained that the H20 chip includes almost all of NVIDIA's best features to work in AI, but that some of the computer power was scaled back so that they could still sell the chip under U.S. sanctions. Also in November, NVIDIA has a 90% share of China's AI chip market, then valued at $7 billion. November 2023 was five to 10 months ago, not years. And here is Reuters again, day before yesterday. NVIDIA is cutting prices in order to compete with Huawei in China, slashing prices. The NVIDIA H20 is already in trouble. Huawei introduced their new AI chip, the Accent 910B, at about the same time as the H20 was released. And experts say that Huawei's chip is faster and performs better. As a result, Huawei's 910B is more expensive, 20% more expensive than the NVIDIA H20. The 910B is over 120,000 RMB per card compared to NVIDIA's H20 at 100,000 RMB per card. For the server cards, Huawei's prices are running about 200,000 RMB higher. To again emphasize what this means, NVIDIA isn't cutting prices to match Huawei's to keep market share. Huawei's prices are higher because their chips are faster and they perform better and there's more demand for them. Huawei only began to challenge NVIDIA last year. Last year, Huawei entered the market with chips to compete with NVIDIA. And already, just a year later, NVIDIA is in a fight for their lives trying hard to capture share in a market that it cannot afford to lose. NVIDIA is hoping to ship over a million H20 chips to China in the second half of this year, but already the market is well supplied and demand is weak on the chips that they have in the market now. Five to 10 years, that's what the experts said six months ago. That's how long it would take Chinese companies to be able to stand on their own and challenge NVIDIA. We should have expected to see these headlines in 2030 or so. We've seen this movie before and don't want to spoil the ending if you haven't, but NVIDIA in China is in big trouble, just like Tesla is in RVs. Soon, NVIDIA will be uncompetitive here in mainland China and in the rest of the world where Huawei is allowed to sell their AI chips. And NVIDIA's viability, their survival will depend on whether they can get laws passed to protect their markets in North America and Europe from Chinese chip makers, just like Tesla did. That's what's gonna happen in the next five or 10 years.
This is Lee Jong. Have a nice weekend. Be good. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men, so they see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Love the Lord your God with all your heart.